Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to make your 808s glide in uh, Ableton Live 9.6 using the sampler device. If you don't know what an 808 glide, uh, what an 808 glide sounds like, uh, this is what it sounds like. Let me play it again without the drums. Yeah. All right. To achieve this effect, um, first you want to grab an instrument rack. Next, you're going to grab your simpler tool. And you're going to drag it right here. You know, you got that all set up. You're also going to go to audio effects and then you're going to grab a tuner. So we can tune our 808 and make sure it's at the C, the root, the key root of C. All right. Next, we navigate to our drums. Uh, find the 808 that you would like to use. I'm going to choose this one. Okay. That's pretty much squared away. All right. And then I'm going to go to filter global, global tab. Press uh, go to voices. Select one. Okay, that's great. And next. I'm going to map some functions to our, my macros right here. And of course, I'm going to map the attack. Uh, you don't have to necessarily have to do this, but um, you can map whatever parameters that you would like to use or parameters that you use often to uh, edit your samples. So, and I'm also add the value. And, uh, Well, that's pretty much it. And then I'm going to go to pitch, the pitch tab. And this is where the glide effect happens. But first, I'm going to add, I'm going to map these two things here. I'm going to map uh, the uh, transposition, transpose rather, to macro 5. And then I'm going to map my detune to macro 6. And then I'm going to map my, well, I'm actually just going to turn glide on. Then I'm going to map my glide time to macro seven. This is where all the magic happens. All right, great. Next, we're going to. We're going to adjust our macros to the default. Uh, you could zero it out. And then we're going to change our release to 50. And um, let me just hit the filter tab so I can see what's going on. Okay, and we can adjust our attack. So you can adjust it to whatever you like. Uh, I could actually just leave it like this, but and keep going from there. And I'm going to change my transpose transpose to zero, and then I'm going to make my detune zero as well, and I'm going to bring my glide time up to fifty. All right, and then I'm going to just rename these few items real quick. All right. And so what I like to do next is save it. So when if you when you save this rack, you can use it for more than one 808 sample or you could just save it for individual samples, but I'll save it for the I'll save it so I can use it later. You just give it a name, 808 uh glide device. All right. Mm. Now that we got that all squared away, now I'm going to tune my 808. Make sure it's in key. Sorry, guys. I got a uh, C sharp. So I'm going to turn my transposition down just one. I got it in C. Next, I am going to tune it a little bit. Get it right there in the green. So I got it as close as possible to the KFC. All right, and that's pretty much it. Next, we're going to go to our um, 
our uh, arrangement view here, and we're going to lay down some notes. So I'm going to just I'm just going to lay down some notes, program some uh, notes here. Hold on a second. Some uh, triplets here. <laughs> Let me turn my triplet grid off. Let's see, now I'm going to add some notes that are going to glide. Then I'm going to go back to my device and I'm going to adjust my glide time accordingly. Give it a little longer. And that's basically how you get your 808s, how you make your 808s glide in Ableton Live using the sampler device. See, I like to keep my uh, glide time right around 118. It sounds just about right. And that's pretty much it. If you do have any questions, uh, just leave a comment below. And if you like the video, just give it a thumbs up. And uh, that's pretty much it.